hello and welcome to a new video for AZ900 preparation if you have not watched our previous video you can refer our playlist question number 41 who operates Azure China region data centers select the correct option the options are A Azure China B Azure Global C Azure with China government and D Azure China 21 via net so the correct option is D. So Azure China is operated by 21 via net. It's a physically separated instance of cloud services located in China. Azure China is independently operated and transacted by Shanghai Blue Cloud Technology. Question number 42. What features of a system makes it elastic? Select the correct option. The options are A the ability to heal itself after a crash b the ability to increase and reduce capacity based on actual demand c the ability to stay up while updates are being made to the system and d the ability to withstand denial of service attacks so the correct answer is b so elasticity is the ability to automatically or dynamically increase or decrease resources as needed. Elastic resources match the current needs and add or remove resources automatically to meet future needs when it's needed. Now look why other options are not correct. The ability to heal itself after a crash is incorrect. Ability to heal itself after a crash is called disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is the ability to recover from an event that has taken down a cloud service. Next option, the ability to withstand denial of service attacks. So it is a security feature. DDoS attacks attempt to overhelp and exhaust an application's resources making the application slow or unresponsive to legitimate user. Azure DDoS protection combined with application design best practices provides defense against DDoS attacks. The last option that is the ability to stay up while updates are being made to the system. So keeping the system up and running at the time of updates is achieved by availability sets update domain. Update domains are a logical section of the data center and they are implemented with software and logic. Question number 43. Which of the following describes platform as a service? Options A. A users are responsible for purchasing, installing, configuring and managing their own software, operating systems, middleware and application. B. Users are responsible for purchasing hardware machines and installing, configuring and managing their own software, operating system, middleware and application. C. Users create and deploy application quickly without having to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. And D. Users configure the solutions as per their needs and start using it without worrying about application hosting and maintenance. So the correct option is C. So PaaS lets users create and deploy applications quickly without having to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. You manage the application and services you develop and the cloud service provides typically manage everything else. Now the other options like users are responsible for purchasing and manage hardware machines and installing, configuring and managing their own software. So Azure Cloud does not allow users to manage hardware machines as its responsibility of Azure. Hardware ownership with a customer comes under the private cloud where users set up, manage and maintain their private data center. Next option. Users configure the solution as per their needs and start using it without worrying about application hosting and maintenance is incorrect as this solution comes under software as a service offering. SaaS allows users to connect to and use cloud-based app over the internet. Now the last option that is 
users are responsible for purchasing installing configuring and managing their own software so this solution comes under infrastructure as a service offering is is an instant computing infrastructure provision and managed over the internet is quickly scales up and down with demand letting you pay only for what you use question number 44 this question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct you have an application that is comprised of an azure web app that has a service level agreement of 99.95 percent and an azure sql database that has an sla of 99.99 percent the composite sla for the application is the average of both sla's which is 99.97 percent select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer the options are a the lowest sla associated with the application which is 99.95 percent b no change needed c the highest sla associated with the application which is 99.99 percent and d multiplying both sla's which is 99.94 percent so the correct answer is d question number 45 this question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct azure germany can be used by legal residents of germany only select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer the options are a only enterprises that are registered in germany b no change needed c only enterprises that purchase their azure licenses from a partner based in germany and d any user or enterprise that requires its data to reside in germany so the correct option is d so microsoft azure germany is a physically isolated instance of microsoft azure it uses world class security and compliance services that are critical to German data privacy regulation for all systems and application built on its architecture. It can be used by any user or enterprise that requires its data to reside in Germany. So if you want to practice similar types of questions and want questions in the format of PDF, you can refer our official website that is Tech Cloud Solution. Question number 46 you are planning to automate the deployment of servers to azure your manager is concerned that you may expose administrative credentials during the deployment you need to recommend an azure solution that encrypts the administrative credentials during the deployment what should you include in the recommendation the options are a azure key vault b microsoft defender for identity C Azure multi factor authentication and D Azure information protection. So the correct options is A. So Azure Key Vault is a cloud service for storing your administrative credentials by keeping them in a single central location and by providing secure access, permissions control, and access logging capabilities. Now, other options why those are incorrect as azure multi-factor authentication so azure mfa provides additional security for your identities by requiring two or more elements for full authentication mfa cannot encrypt and manage administrative credential next option that is microsoft defender for identity so it is a cloud-based security solution capable of detecting known malicious attacks and techniques security issues and risk against your network it cannot be used to encrypt and manage administrative credentials now the last option that is azure information protection so azure information protection helps organizations to classify their documents and emails by applying labels azure information protection cannot be used to encrypt and manage administrative credentials Question number 47, 
there has been an attack on your public facing website and the applications resources have been overwhelmed and exhausted and are now unavailable to users what service should you use to prevent this type of attack in the future the options are a azure firewall b application gateway c ddos protection and d network security group so the correct answer is c so azure distributed denial of service ddos attacks attempts to overwhelm and exhaust an application resources making the application slow or unresponsive azure ddos protection combined with application design best practices provide defense against ddos attacks now other options that are not correct as azure firewall so azure firewall is a network security service that protects your azure virtual network resources by adding allow or deny rules based on different condition azure ddos service will save your services from ddos attacks and later you can block attacker ips in the firewall rule next option application gateway so azure application gateway is a load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web applications it does not filter it forward traffic to resources so it cannot help in case of ddos attack and the last option network security group so nsg allow you to filter network traffic to and from azure resources in an azure virtual network ddos attack should be controlled before entering to a virtual network by using azure ddos protection question number 48 This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. As an Azure customer, Azure reservation offer discounted prices if provision many resources. Select no change needed if the above statement is correct. Otherwise, select the correct answer. The options are A make upfront commitments on compute capacity, B no change needed, C set spending limits d have a free account so the correct option is a so azure reservation help you save money by committing upfront to one year or three year plans for multiple products reservation can significantly reduce your resources cost up to 72% on pay as you go prices Reservation provides a billing discount and don't affect the runtime state of your resources. After you purchase a reservation, the discount automatically applies to matching resources. Question number forty-nine: You are planning to provision infrastructure as a service resource in Azure. Which one of the following resources is an example of IS? The options are A. Azure Logic App. B. Azure Virtual Machine. C. Azure SQL database and D Azure web app so the correct answer is B so Azure virtual machines is an infrastructure as a service offering IS is an instant computing infrastructure provision and managed over the internet so IS quickly scales up and down with demand letting you pay only for what you use so here we come to an end of this video and if you want to practice similar type of question you can refer our official website and also do subscribe and comment